Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Youth Messages Online. This week, we celebrate Easter, and we're going to talk about this. Easter means that fear isn't final. Fear can take away our happiness almost faster than anything. We've all felt some form of fear. As a kid, maybe it was the monster underneath your bed or in the closet, or maybe when all the lights are off, you thought somebody's there. As you hit middle school, your fears likely transferred to other things like failing classes, being rejected by your friends, or being made fun of. And now you're in high school and you've probably figured out that you just don't grow out of fear. Now, as you grow up, fear just grows up with you. If we were to boil it down, there's one fear that connects all of our fears, the fear of death. This is not just about physical death. It's about the end of something. Whether it's physical death or the death of something we hope for, the fear of death comes down to losing something we think we'll never get back. When you think of it that way, it's easy to connect almost all of our fears back to the fear of death. That's because death seems final. But that's exactly where Easter comes in, right in the middle of our fear of death. For those of us who follow Jesus, this is the time of year we celebrate how he came to earth, died on the cross as a criminal, and then three days later, when nobody expected it, he rose from the dead. It especially changed the life of a guy named Paul one of the most famous Christians in history. Before he became a Jesus follower, he spent years trying to scare Christians into leaving the faith, using death as the ultimate threat. Then he met Jesus, like the used to be dead and wasn't dead anymore Jesus, and it changed everything. Paul's life was constantly in danger. In fact, he was eventually killed for his faith. Despite all of that, Paul seemed to live without a fear of death. And in one of Paul's letters, we can see why. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? When Jesus died and then rose again, he defeated death. And that means that because of the resurrection, death can no longer defeat us. We no longer have to fear any kind of death because Jesus destroyed death once and for all. Easter means that fear isn't final. If Jesus can defeat death, he can defeat the things you're afraid of too. Fear will try to make you listen and obey it. That's what power is all about. But fear is only powerful if it can convince you that it's final. When Jesus defeated death itself, he showed us that nothing we fear is bigger than him. Even if fear doesn't get the final word, that doesn't mean there aren't still feelings to be afraid of. It doesn't mean that you're more equipped to handle those things than you may realize. Paul says it this way, The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Paul is saying that the same power that defeated death 2,000 years ago when Jesus rose from the dead is actually inside of people who believe in him today. So let me ask you, where has fear been holding you back? What steps should you take to prove fear doesn't have power over you? To answer these questions, I'd like for you to welcome our guest and a section I'm liking to call Six Foot Interviews. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carter Samuel. Woo! Yay, Carter! Yay! Oh, yay! All right, Carter, do I look six feet from you? Uh, a bit more. Oh. Thanks, bro. Is this good? Uh, sure. Oh, thanks. All right, Carter, your first question is this. Where has fear been holding you back? Where has fear been holding me back? Well, Micah, I'm a bit of an introvert, so um, I have trouble socializing and approaching people. And why do you have trouble approaching them? Because I'm afraid I'm going to be judged. Mm. What steps should you take to prove fear doesn't have power over you? Well, I believe I kind of need to get out more and remember that Jesus is bigger than judgment. Ooh. A wise man told me that once. <laughs> I don't know who that wise man was, but I bet he was good looking. Say that last part again, Carter, for us. Jesus is bigger than judgment. Yes, and then we don't have to live in fear. Ladies and gentlemen, Carter Samuel! Whee! Carter Samuel! Almost quarantine. 
I don't know what your step is, but I do know this. If you're someone who believes that Jesus defeated death and you follow him, then you have his power inside of you. This is what makes Easter such a happy holiday. Will you pray with me? Father, as we celebrate your resurrection from death, we just thank you that we have the relationship we have with you, that you care for us, that you sent your son to show us how to live and to save our souls, that we may at the end of this life not die, but start anew, that new life in your heavenly realm. Father, as we experience fear today, I pray that you just fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may not have fear, but that we, we may walk confidently knowing that you and your will is what we follow and it's what we trust in. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. That concludes it for this week. I'll see you next week.